some of this tea. Like this video as y'all get in here. I know this is a late live. I understand that. Uh, yes, Portia and Simon. I know somebody was like, what happened with Portia and Simon in court? They went to court today, child. And um, it is looking like Portia might have got what she want in, in the meantime. Okay, because, you know, Simon is trying to force, uh, his attorney is trying to force her attorney or the judge to force Portia to compel to discovery to, um, you know, tell him things, allow him to interview witnesses and all of that. And apparently, I guess this judge is like, you got enough. You just seen the bank records. You just seen enough. And Simon's attorney is like, it ain't enough. Like, this is a contract. We is disputing this contract. So they've been arguing over it. And so, of course, I got the latest filing. Mm, I, don't, I don't know if this one of them lives that I need to read these. How many doctors? Oh, Lord, this is 47 pages documents. I will not be reading this today. Okay, let me look at it real quick. It says, Portia Diane Williams petitioner versus Simon Iore Corbardia. This was filed on my birthday, 821 at 11.09. Oh, this is from Simon. This is his opposition to petitioner's motion to quash and brief in support thereof. So um, it's, it reads like a story, honey. This this reads like a novella. And so I might need to take some time and read this over here on the, um, over there on the Patreon. Um, but um, from what I understand, you know, they're waiting on the judge to decide if there will be an order to enforce the prenup or not. And each of them presented evidence today. And so far, uh, the judge hasn't issued that order yet but it may be forthcoming. I don't know. Um, mm -hmm, it may be forthcoming. It just, it will, child, Portia, Portia, why you want to fight this man? Over? You know, this man got all this money. Portia said he got $300 million. Okay. Portia said it in her, in her documents that Simon is a $300 million man and that she cannot uh, fight him in court because he has all the resources. And I guess since Portia and told the people that Simon got $300 million, the judge is like looking at him like, who is this black man? Why he got 300 million and why he's fighting over this $7 million house? So, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is, child. It ain't my house, but if if she wants it, and he, I don't know, child. I just know it's going to be a battle. And from what I heard on the street, Simon is not getting up, giving up. It's going to go from the, from, the, from the superior court to the appellate court to the this court to the that court. Because, look, 453 uh, days of marriage is not worth a $7 million house, according to, um, you know, Simon Guapadios and his attorney. Uh, you said, I wonder why Andy Cohen never appeared on any housewife series besides the reunion. Wouldn't that be breaking the fourth wall, Dave? Because technically he's not a part of any of these ladies' stories, I mean, outside of being their boss. So can you imagine him coming on and be like, hey, Andy, how you doing? Hi, let's have lunch. No, we don't want Andy on the show. <laughs> we don't want Andy on the show. Uh, you said I was almost a Virgo. Almost doesn't count. Mm -mm, almost doesn't count. If he had $300 million, he wouldn't be fighting over a $3 million house. Well, actually, Jazabelle. Hey, Jazabelle, welcome back, Mod. Actually, it's a $7 million house. You know, we can go take a gander at it on the Instagram, on the uh, Reddit, uh, uh, Zillow's. But yeah, it's a $7 million house. And how can you tell that man how to spend his money? If he got $300 million, you telling him he got to give somebody $7 million just because he got it? That ain't how money works. Mm -mm, that ain't how money works. That's how people think money works. Trust and believe. Because, you know, I had friends all in my pockets, child, over the years. And they be like, she got it. She got it. She can pay it. I ain't got to pay. I'm renting her house. I ain't got to pay the rent. She got it. <laughs> so, you know, I understand that logic, honey. You can't tell me. You cannot tell me. You said you understand what I'm saying. Okay, I get it too. You said, uh, hey, Carol Toomer, I, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Hey, Chef Disaster. Chef Disaster been here since I first started. Look, we got some old heads in here. I love it. All the old people coming back. Shout out to my mods in the building. Miss Kiki is in here. Princess AG. You said Carlos made an appearance on his show. 
Okay. Well, he remember Carlos made an appearance on the Real Housewives of Atlanta too. Remember, he was the one who picked up Portia after she pulled Kenya across the stage by her uh weave. Uh, he was also the person who picked up Portia when she uh was kicked in the coochie by Cynthia. Y'all remember that? Carlos was always in the background doing something on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So what he did on his show, I can't I don't understand. If he has money, then the claims she has against him don't line up. That's what I said, Lisa Hubs. Her court documents and what she has said publicly do not match up. Okay. Now, remember when Simon was in uh, Shamia or up under the shade room's comments saying, you know, shout out to Shamia for being the only housewife with a uh, Rolls Royce. Portia got mad and triggered and said, um, she got she she got a husband with good credit and who's a citizen or whatever she said and so it's like you know she kept trying to she didn't say it but she you know insinuated that Simon didn't have any money and that Simon wasn't a citizen and was gonna get kicked out she kept doing that in the comment section she also you remember posted when he uh bought his new car she posted he sold two cars to get that one so it was like okay I mean, who drives three cars except me? I mean, you you can only drive one car at a time. I'm saying so. If he decided he didn't want the Ferrari and the whatever and the Porsche or the other Rolls Royce and he wanted this the bigger one, then that's his prerogative. It's his coins, right? Um, thank you so much, Chef Disaster. So yeah, you know, people are literally um, you know, running with the narrative that Porsche or Porsche's team allegedly. Uh, put out there about Simon and now it's like over the months that you know this is all played out it's like wait a minute she said he was broke but her attorney said in these legal documents that he got 300 million dollars and she can't fight him wait a minute she said he about to get deported but he be here in Atlanta all the time wait a minute she said he fled to Dubai but he be you know back and forth from Dubai to Atlanta wait a minute Portia said that he is deep in debt, but Simon is buying cars all the time. So it's like none of this stuff is lining up. So I don't know. It's just looking like Portia hit a lick. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. You know, I listen, I can't sugarcoat it. It's looking like Portia hit a lick. Okay. Portia saw somebody who she knew had some money. She married him swiftly and quickly. Okay. She put that thing on him. Okay. Did what she had to do. Uh, she made promises that she didn't keep. Uh, she quit all her jobs. She said she was going to be a stay-at-home housewife with his kids and her kids, her kid uh, and a blended family. And then, you know, they got the prenup together and she read that prenup with a fine tooth comb. And the prenup said uh, they have to stay married at least 400 days. <laughs> Allegedly, I'm just making that, throwing that number out there. They had to stay married at least 400 days. And Portia stayed married for 453 days. Okay, she made sure she stayed over the number so she could trigger the prenup and get this dope. Okay, that, that's a lick. That's a lick. Okay, Atlanta is the home of the credit cards and the scammers. And it didn't work out for her because now the housewives is, is, is she, she jeopardizing everybody's check on the housewives. I'm sure the ladies on the housewives is pissed off at her because now Portia was supposed to be the middle peach holder. She was supposed to be the queen of the housewives, the face of the housewives this season. And then Simon blocked that bag because Simon and sent cease and desist. Bravo honored his cease and desist and wouldn't film in the house. They said they wouldn't film the car and all of that stuff. So it's like now we can't even see this lavish lifestyle that Portia upgraded to. Like, what, what is happening? Yeah.